हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बायोलॉजी एंड करियर टुडेज टॉपिक इज सेल व्हिच इज नोन एज द बेसिक यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ इफ आई गिव ए इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट सेल और डिस्क्राइब व्हाट इज सेल देन इट विल बी क्लियर दैट व्हाई सेल इज कॉल्ड द बेसिक यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ व्हाट इज सेल The first point is cells are the structural and biological functional units of an organism. So here we get the two term first structural and second biological functional so structural unit that means if we see the structure of an organism we will find that the organism is formed with cells each organ of the body is made of cells now the second point is functional unit that means cells are very important to sustain a life because cells process nutrients and make it into energy and we all know that without energy we cannot work energy is must for a life and this energy made by cells and the second point is in the world there have both unicellular and multicellular organism so here we get also the two term unicellular and multicellular so first unicellular that mean the whole organism made with only one cell one cell equal to one organism the all function of the organism done by only that one cell and second is multicellular that means the organism made with a lots of cells multicellular organisms have specialized cells that perform specific function as for example the blood contain red blood cells or rbc the function of the rbc is to transport oxygen and carbon dioxide the third point is cell is capable of leading an independent life i will explain it with an example amoeba if we see the structure of an amoeba we can find only one cell we all know for sustaining a life a lots of function like respiration excretion processing nutrition are necessary so in the amoeba this all functions are done by only one cell now see discovery of cell in 1665 robert hooke first discovered the cell and the most interesting thing is he discovered the cell with his own microscope that mean at first he made a microscope and with the help of that microscope he discovered the cell if we see the structure of a cell we will find the three major parts and these are cell membrane cytoplasm and the nucleus with the help of a diagram we can explain these three major parts now see the general structure of a cell with the help of this diagram we can explain the three major parts of the cell so first cell membrane this is the outer border see this is the outer border part and this part separates the interior of the cell from the outside environment next cytoplasm see this is the cytoplasm part okay it is mainly composed of water salt and protein and the most important thing about cytoplasm is all the organelles like vacuoles uh, like uh, mitochondria etc all the organelles situated in cytoplasm and the third is nucleus see this is the nucleus 
which is the most condensed part of the cell most condensed part and this contain the chromosome called dna material okay this dna material chromosome located in nucleus and also have nucleolus okay so this is the general structure of a cell 